I am making a type of fish fry, but I'm using a Pacific rock cod. And you have to make sure you take out all the splinters out there. I mean the bones, the tiny bones that they have. And then I cut it into nuggets. So I, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Um, so what I have is a mixture of egg, one egg, and some wine. So I use a little bit of the Chardonnay wine. And then um, I'm going to put it in this um, mixture of of um, flour. Uh, this is a, a cornmeal, cornmeal, and some flour. Cornmeal and flour, and some spices. I have paprika, smoked, smoked paprika, 21 seasonings. Uh, let's see if I can show you that real quick. Smoked paprika, 21 seasonings. Yep, you see that. And uh, and some salt, and that's all I want to put in this one. If you want, you can add some. Uh, I've shown you how to do this before. I'll go ahead and add some. Some that's uh, onion powder, and some granulated. See, granulated, just a little bit of garlic. And a little bit of a kick then I mix it up I usually use a whisk so that's going to a hot point you see that I'm gonna turn up the I'm gonna lower it down lower the heat because I don't want it to cook too fast okay or fry too fast so I'm gonna go ahead and take my cod nuggets Okay, and put them in there. Okay, and I'm going to get, um, you want to get some tongs, okay. Gonna put that up like that. then gently put it in there and I have a mixture of um, I have grapeseed oil you could use an avocado or a coconut oil the coconut oil is going to give it more of a sweet And what's so nice about these little um, nuggets, or small pieces of filet, what you could do is make tacos, fish tacos out of them as well. But I'm going to be serving it with corn, a corn salad. Corn and bean salad is going to give me a lot of protein. And I also recommend something green on this side. So I'm going to make a sauteed char that's going to go well with that. So, okay, so those are on their way of frying. Meantime, I'm going to put my other ones in there. And so what do you do with the leftover um, egg? You can make little nuggets and you mix it with the rest of this um, flour. And you can make like little hush puppies. Yep. Some hush puppies that'll go with that. And then that'll be like your bread. And then you just kind of flip that over. That doesn't need much time to flip over. So you find your hot spot and you kind of maneuver your your fillets around so that they don't 
You don't want them to scorch. Okay. Let that cook for a minute or two. A couple minutes. I know I need one of those camera stands. <laughs> I still haven't gotten one. Because I keep saying I'm not going to do these videos anymore. <laughs> there you go. And this is so good. It's a delicious, yummy. And I have, I have um, salsa verde. I'm going to serve that with. And look, some salsa verde. That's gonna go with that. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. And a lot of people have rice. They serve it with rice. You can make a rice. I'm gonna make a, a corn salad and um, put that in there with it. And it should be almost done. And I like cooking mine. You know, I don't. Just to keep it safe, because you never know what's going to be recalled. You want to thoroughly cook, you know, fry these. Um, I like frying them where they're falling, almost virtually falling apart. And then you squeeze some lemon on them or lime. And it gives it that nice little yummy flavor. You could add the lime in there if you want, or the lemon, but... I would do it afterwards. It's about done. I'll make sure you have an even, you know, fry on on each side. And I don't usually put a lot of oil in my skillet, so just so I could try it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's yummy. Oh my gosh. The seasonings are perfect. I didn't even put pepper on this one. Oh yeah, that's good. And when it wants to fall apart. I just like my my fish thoroughly cooked. And the fat, you know, the oil is gonna keep it from um, you know it's it's gonna keep it moist and I'm gonna flip these over and then put them in and what I usually do is um, I just add a little bit more oil because I can tell that that oil is evaporating. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. these out. Let that oil heat up. That's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to leave that a little bit uh, longer. So I never put in raw when it's already cooked. So be careful because you don't want to cross-contaminate. I mean, you can cross-contaminate and 
you'll have a series of issues. So I have a paper towel. I just put that in there. Okay, I'm going to flip that over gently. How nice that is. Oh, yeah. And these are nice. Making a corn salad. I've already blanched my fresh corn. I'm going to add uh, some great northern beans, some tomatoes that came out of my garden or the garden that I was using, some basil. I might add some capers. I taste as I go and some of these pimento olives. I may add some garbanzo beans, but I'm not sure. And then um, bring some color some more color the tomato if I add some red onions to this and then it should be a nice salad for my Pacific rock cod which is really yummy so Alrighty, there you have it. Alright, I will talk to you soon. Yes.